Hi everyone, I just realized that there was no intro to this particular video. So here's the intro. This video is going to be like a transformation glow up for my birthday. Um, it's going to be nails, hair, um, skin care, body care, um, get ready with me all in one video. So I hope you enjoy. Um, let's get started. First things first, for my skin, I am going to be using a very gentle cleanser. This is the this is by Minimalist Aquabor Aquaporin Booster Cleanser. So this is what I'm going to use. You then I'm going to be using a chemical peel this time. This is the this is from Pilgrim. This is a 25% AHA, 2% BHA and a 5% PHA peeling solution. I would not recommend this for beginners. Only if you have used a milder version of this, then you can go for this one. I have used PHA on my skin uh, for the longest time, so I can go. So I'm going to use this. It was very, very gently. This will tingle on your skin for a while, but that is nothing to worry about, which it just means that it's working. Have an even layer. Do not use this um, near your eyes or your mouth. And I have kept a timer for 10 minutes. Make sure to only keep this on for 10 minutes and not more. I'll see you then. In the meanwhile, let me quickly do a lip scrub as well. 10 minutes is up, so I wash my face. I'm going to seal it and top it just with a moisturizer now. I'm going to be using a ceramide moisturizer by Requil. And that is it for my skincare. Now let's move on to other things. You can see the growth. I have not shaved for like more than a month. Ah, Chatri Nam Sarada. Comparatively, I have less hair body hair on my um how they are out of the shower i am just going to show you what i used for my hair um i use this hair mask so i like to use a hair mask in place of a conditioner sometimes um i think it's a little more moisturizing and it really makes my hair soft and this is the one that i have been using for quite a while this is by mama or it really makes my hair really shiny and bouncy and really soft but i do not like the smell of this particularly but it works shower gel that i use today is from plum it's their hawaiian rumba shower gel i really, really like the fragrance of this so i use that what i use for my shower the condition of my nails i haven't put anything in like uh, so many weeks <laughs> So I'll be using this nail paint. It's a black nail paint. I have like really, my nails have gone short this time. So I think black looks, black is the safest option. So I'm just gonna go for this one. It's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. I missed it a little bit, but but I'm gonna clean it up later. We shall do this, shall we? Let's do this. Alright, my hair is all back. My hair is all pulled back. Now, I'm gonna be applying all the shit tons of skincare products that I have. Skin prep, specifically 
skincare products that I have. All the proper product details will be in the description box as always. I can't keep mentioning all of the products. Using a water balm magic cream. This is by Color Bar. This is like a moisturizer only. Like, I can't believe like this is my last video for the birthday thing. Uh, this is like my final video. After this, I'm probably gonna take a week's break if I don't feel guilty. That is, if I were to step out, um, I'm not going anywhere right now. But if I were to step out of this look, I will definitely add sunscreen as well. But right now, I'm not because I've already applied sunscreen before, so I don't feel the need to. But if I was stepping out, definitely I would. Definitely gives the instant boost of hydration your skin needs i didn't even get the time to like do my brows i feel like the past a week or two has been such a blur to me i have no track of time i have no track of days um i don't check my phone i only use my i only um pick up my phone when i have to upload some content it's just been such a blur. Brightening iridescent essence. I'm using all my best products, like my best fancy products today. Last step, uh, dewy primer. Doing my brows. And I'm using uh, this brow and lash clear gel to set the brows in place. For my base, I'll be mixing uh, two of which is uh, the best, which is my favorite way to use a foundation, mixing two foundations. So I'm gonna mix, I don't wanna do like a very heavy base, so I won't take a lot. Don't want to take a lot, but it's very sour. Very sour. A little bit of this LA Girl foundation. I'm going to use that. Both of these foundations are full coverage. Taking a blush, brush, and blending it. For concealer, I'm again using two concealers. One is a darker one to correct a little bit of my pigmentation and then a concealer that matches my skin tone. I'm not explaining what I'm doing because you've seen me do this like a thousand times so I'm, just, I'm not gonna... I'm going to set everything with my sugar translucent powder. But I'm going to get rid of the creasing first of the concealer. And go to set. <coughs> now let's do the rest of the face. Today I'm going to use my favorite bronzer from Wet n Wild. Can you see how pigmented this is? For blush, I'm going to be using both a cream blush and powder brush. I'm going to top it off with a powder brush. Okay. Um, and now a powder brush, blush. Wow, which is so freaking pretty. My old blush love i have a very undying love like a very everlasting kind of a love for this blush which is by k beauty to melt all of this powder to melt all of this powderiness that's been going on i'm going to be using a fixing mist 
and drench myself in it today let's just use a highlighter this is by sugar and I'm and when you use a highlighter on top of a fixing spray that you just use um i feel like the highlighter just pops so much more and it looks very wet just gives a very wet effect as you can see so i have some plans for my eyes i am try i will try and do like a siren eyes eyes i'm going to pop a picture um, of how it looks like so first i'm going to use this palette so i picked this palette because it has all of the shades that i will be needing it has a light brown dark brown and a black so this is the palette that i'm going to be using it's by wet and wild first i'm going to pick up this light top top kind of a brown shade and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it only on my outer corner like so and also in my inner corner you will not touch the middle portion and i'll take it as close i can to my lash line darker brown and i'm going to be intensify the exact same how it looks so far i'm not really sure how, where this is going but now what i'm going to do is i am going to grab a liner and i do feel like liners do make my eyes look a little bit more pretty so for a wing Now I'm going to be using some mascara. I have um already curled my lashes. Um it's going to be this mascara is out of this world. Um before we move on to lipstick, let's take a mini break for giveaway number 2. I'm going to do a red lip because why not I feel this is a perfect opportunity and I'm also wearing like a red corset. So let's go out and about today. Uh, I'm going to first be using a lip liner. And I'm going to line my lips oh shit. Oh shit. For lipstick I picked up this a uh, red shade lip shade from Sugar. Let's see. Finish look. I'm just going to take a final char in this. The finish look. I'm just going to finish it off with uh, with my favorite body mist. <sighs> Definitely not me. to go for a red lipstick but i felt like it today make sure you participate in the giveaway all of the products that i've used in today's video will be in the description box for you i really hope you enjoyed today's video um in fact i really really hope that you enjoyed all of the videos for this week thank you so much for watching um i'll see you next week or maybe let's just say i'll see you very soon in my next video bye